The year was 2011. Adele's Rolling in the Deep was number one on the Billboard music chart. The Green Bay Packers were Super Bowl champs. And Robert Pattinson was named the world's sexiest man. Remember when Twilight was still a thing? 2011 also marked the end of an era for a truck that survived nearly 30 years in the US, the Ford Ranger. But now, after a not so brief seven year hiatus and plenty of begging by truck enthusiasts, it's back and it's ready to boogie. Three generations separate this new Ranger from the original. And as you can tell, a lot has changed. For one, it's a more modern truck, and its style reflects that. Outside of a few chromed out trim pieces and some off-roady bits, it's pretty simple and straightforward. It does get some cues borrowed from the F-150 as well as the European Ranger, but it's not too flashy. It just looks good. The inside of the Ranger is pretty similar to the outside. Simple, straightforward, with some hard plastics mixed in with nicer leather trim pieces. It's totally fine for most truck buyers, but a little plain. The infotainment screen gets Ford's latest SYNC 3 update. Decent graphics and a simple layout make it pretty seamless for the most part. But if you'd rather just plug in your smartphone, you can. The Ranger offers both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So here's the thing, Ford only offers one engine option on the new Ranger. A 2.3 liter turbocharged inline four with 270 horsepower. In terms of torque, it's better than both the Tacoma and Colorado at 310 pound feet. And honestly, you don't miss the V6. This engine has a lot of power. Sort of like how we don't miss the V8 and the Raptor. Smaller displacement, more power, good for everyone. The Ranger gets the same 10-speed automatic as the F-150, and it's really good here. It's quick, decisive, and honestly, you don't even know it's there most of the time. Pair that with the engine, and you get up to 23 miles per gallon on the highway, which is better than anything else in the class. We wouldn't call the Ranger a mini Raptor, but it has decent off-road chops. There are four different driving modes you can adjust based on terrain. Normal, grass, gravel, and snow, mud and ruts, or sand. It also has an available trail control feature and an electronic locking rear diff, which means it can do things like this. Thing is, Ford sells a ton of F-150s, so the Ranger is aimed at a different market entirely. Younger, more adventurous, and into a variety of hashtag lifestyle activities. If you want to lug around a kayak or electric scooters, you can. Just get a roof rack or bed rails. All this, you can build your ultimate Ranger. Odds are, the allure of the F-150 should carry over to the Ranger as well. An awesome engine, decent driving dynamics, and off-road capability make it a solid addition to the segment. The base Ranger XL starts at 24,300, but you could dress a Lariat model all the way up to 47,000. Ford really shouldn't worry about cannibalism though. This Ranger can definitely hold its own. 